We've got to go. We've got to go to the sewer perfection with another sewer perfection. It's perfectly fine. Hello, everyone. Hi, Mamez here from the Land Up channel. Here to do a lovely Heimer video for you today. As you can see, I am in the Heimer Dino cosplay. I do still need to make some improvements and whatnot, but it was a lot of fun. I streamed while wearing all of this and had some good times. So, this is a very stupid Heimer Dino deck. Let's get into this. So today's deck is called Crazy Heimer, and indeed it is crazy. Uh, this is a 100% meme deck. This is only for fun. This will not get you far on the ladder if you try to use this on the ladder. This is purely just for banter. Uh, as you can see, like you know, we've got a lot of ones of and twos of because we're trying to get to perfection as quickly as possible. Now, as I say, this deck will most likely get you mostly losses than wins, but those wins will be glorious when you get to them. Because as you will see. It's, it's, not, it's not the best thing, but it was really funny to play. So, as I said, as you can see, a lot of ones of, a lot of one and twos of, and the, the main one who we've got three of is Heimer, because Heimer just helps. Like, the second that you can get Heimer on the board, he just helps. The second those spells can start going off, he can get you to perfection, like, really quickly. Plus, as well, multiple Heimers means that you do get, like, a Heimer becomes draw, which then gets you closer and closer to what you're looking for anyway, in terms of, um cards to play to then get into perfection so uh there is definitely ways that you can improve this deck as i said this is more a meme tier deck is what this build is uh there is still a way of building this and actually making it more efficient but this was just a funny thing that i just wanted to put together because of high mms and whatnot so this is actually a concept that i've used before in the fact that we are using fading memories to use on top of perfection because perfection gives you the widget the, 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 the catastrophe which is a one cost 30 30 with overwhelm and so if you use fading memories on top of the cat if you get the cat out it becomes a one cost ephemeral 30 30 with overwhelm which is really funny because obviously most people like either like there's, there's always the chance of that spell getting denied but you've got two of them and there's also the chance of once that unit gets on the board it gets hushed it gets stunned it gets um like stopped by vengeance or anything along those lines but if you can make a copy of it with, with, with um, fading memories then you're laughing the whole way through so that is the concept that we're going with we've got like you know, a couple of removal tactics there's probably different like a, a lot more removal you could put in this we've got the one of of ezreal for banter because of how much um kind of like stuff that we've got i i would actually consider putting in um unspeakable horror into this deck because i feel like the deck that i had before had unspeakable horror just so that you've got that ability of another creation tool which is helping you create something different which is then helping you get to perfection so the certain things on those lines this guy's just in here just because he's just like he demands respect like in terms of turn two tempo and if they don't have an answer that's going in you're getting a spell from your opponent giving you more more stuff to use and just the one-off little teamer like you're you never gonna level teamer you know or like like you might level teamer but teamer is more in just if you get in turn one great just start smashing him in and like when it when he dies he dies there's no other like mushroom synergy other than the little tiny widget one that you're just using for the card the, the card creation to give you get get, uh, get you close to perfection so this is the deck there is definitely better ways, as I say, of building it, but it was a lot of fun to play. So I hope that you enjoy it. As I said, all of the games that you will be seeing were streamed live. So if you want to catch the action live, please feel free. Shameless plug time, Twitch, Twitter and Instagram. Uh, you can catch me live on Twitch on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays. As well as the fact there is the Discord link down below. So if you want to get in there, we've got a um, monthly games night, movie night and uh, the tournament that I'm going to be running next month will most likely be run through. Uh, that discord so if you want to get involved in all those things help build the lovely community that we're already building there please feel free to any questions and that if you're, if you're new to the game or anything along those lines and you have questions please never hesitate to ask them because like it's like how, how are you gonna learn so that was it those options are there for you there just thank you so much that's the main thing i want to say thank you this channel would be nothing about you i did this cosplay because you guys voted for it on youtube so honestly Thank you guys so much for the support, for all the likes, comments, subscribes, like literally like everything I do, 
I do it for you. <laughs> so thank you so much. So I got an end of year goal of getting 5,000 followers slash subscribers, um, and I feel like we're gonna. I feel like we're gonna definitely hit there on YouTube. So honestly. Thank you all so much. So without further ado, let's just get in and see how this deck did in a couple of matchups. If you want to know what the concept is that we're running with, is we want a fading memories, the cat. Because by fading memories in the cat, the cat only costs one, so we can get an ephemeral copy. Like that, that's the whole purpose of what's going on in this deck. Just just in case you're wondering, Gobus, what the hell are you doing? That's the end game. <laughs> I just want to find that out. But we want to do it in a really silly, stupid way. You've got an elusive in on me. I can either go with the thermal beam. Actually, we're just gonna go straight up with the thermal. Actually, what are they running against? So they're running. So we're against A so and so. So much we just wants to thermo beam this, although I could get out that. I'm just gonna get I'm just gonna thermo beam her. Because I don't want because if we if we throw out a poro cannon and get a poro, then all that all that happens is they don't attack and then they just start building cards and cards and cards. I'd rather just immediately remove the Zo and then play this. I might actually get rid of the Hapless Arista Cat for draw. So we're going to go with whoop, get rid of you for draw right now. It's going to be okay. We've got, we've got draw stuff. We've got gotcha. We've got, like, you know, poros. It's all good. My opponent is doing nothing. I know that they've got a really heavy invoke deck slash, like, you know, heals and problems like that will come massively later on down the line. But I can wait. I'm going to throw down this. Imitative improvement. I can copy their guy. I could actually technically copy the urchin because by copying the urchin, at least. Okay, so this want to pass. Do I make a copy of your guy just just for banter's sake? It's just it's just more because this will cost zero this turn. It goes back to costing two next turn. So I'm actually just gonna do that. Just just the full step to trade this guy off the field with their guy. We could have actually got a better like dragon if they played a dragon. We could have got a better dragon on the field of play. But I don't mind doing this for for stupidity reasons. We could go with another one of these sod it. Let's see what we get. Okay. I'm going to just attack for... Actually, I'm just going to attack. Actually, no, I'm going to keep you back. I'll keep you back. Probably shouldn't. Okay, we'll do that damage. And then we can do that damage into their core. Plus, we get... Plus, we do get a Nightfall unit as well. That's the comedy there, that we will actually be getting a Nightfall unit. It's gonna, it's gonna, so, we're, we're getting more cards. It's a creation card on top of a creation card. This is fine. Why am I not running this in the main deck? Why am I not running Unspeakable Horror in the main deck? I mean, admittedly... Out of all of them, not the best, but it is still draw. Like it's 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 not what I need, but it is still draw. I'm actually gonna keep it back for the time being. I want to keep myself a little bit of mana. I throw you out. They grab here. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. I could throw this down and gotcha, just so that we are at least removing that unit. Obviously, there's other units that I would maybe want to use gotcha on. But I'll go with that. It's removing that potential we might see. Okay, so that's fine. If, as long as I forced out a sharp sight or some form of like them having to cover him, I'm okay with that because it's not helping them life steal wise any more than what it already was. Ruination! Obviously, it's not going to help me against ASOL, but potentially could help me in other ways. I'm going to actually take the draw. <laughs> I'll take the draw. Ah, draw into draw. That's what I love to see. I need to think to myself, am I willing to sacrifice this little man's life? Because they've got... Yeah, he's only got one health. I need, I need to do this little glance up to see how much health their man actually has. I'm weird to go into next turn full spell mana. It gives me the ability to use progress day. This is absolutely fine. Potential withering whale would actually kill this. I have ruination. Okay, no, we don't. I'm gonna go strap with draw. This whole deck mostly relies on if we can get if we can get the draw stuff. So actually, vengeance for cheap is quite nice. And we're already halfway there on the cat. Thinking to myself, what I want to do here is potentially get rid of something in this hand and poro cannon. I need to think what is my better option for getting rid of. Probably it's gonna be progress search, like which is production search. Even though it gives me it gives me some very nice options. It also doesn't. I'm just, I'm just trying. I'm trying to glance out of this bit of the eye because I can see. I mean, I feel like just for a little bit, just taking a break from the goggles. So my opponent's just gonna go passing. We can throw down Ezra. Like we, we are nearly. We, we, we can get there. This this Don't is gonna be the time we got there. A soul drops. Yep, yep. Aurelian soul drops. Makes a lot of sense. Now, admittedly, 
I just need to target him and then ruin a so hopefully if 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 Ezreal can hit hit Ezreal hit Ez God, no no don't do it don't do it don't do it just, just no okay it's fine because we'll just hit them with the withering whale and then we can hit vengeance or ruination the turn after anyway so it's absolutely fine it's not what we want to see it's not what we want to see but we can still we can still be somewhat okay here so we'll just go with the withering whale remove his spell shield which leaves him vulnerable to there being a vengeance or ruination <laughs> It's gonna be okay, people. Do not fret. We have the answers. This is get. This is gonna be the time this worked for us. That's an annoyance. The fact that it will come back because I can ruination, but then that comes back again. It's really annoying. So they're gonna hit me for six, but it's worth it because I can then play another Poro bot that can defend me. We'll wipe this bolt. <laughs> We'll wipe this ball to one ASO. That stays on the field of play. We then, they go forward and do six damage. Or not. I mean, if they're going to pass, we also pass. <laughs> if I get to keep a little bit of mana, I'm going to keep that little tiny bit of mana. We could straight up vengeance this, but I'm going to throw Poro out. Okay, so this is all about hoping. Okay, another Aurelian Soul. It's not good. But we've at least covered ourselves maybe slightly. Okay, wanna go with you? Going into doesn't really help me. I'm gonna be I'm gonna rummage this away. Sadly, this doesn't really help me. I don't wanna use my glimpse right now on what I've got. So I'm gonna go with get like even though that's gonna be good once we get here. It, with the hand that I've got and what's going on, I need other options, okay? <laughs> okay, so I've got another elusive. <laughs> Which gives me draw. We're, I mean, we're, we are we are there. Right? We are we are there. Like Jerry gets us there. We can't do anything right now. We could go forward because it at least means that we trade off their. We're trading off their other elusive. I will accept this. Or or they decide not to. This is fine. We're gonna get there. Do not worry. Do not worry, everyone. This is gonna be the time of genius. We've got actually now the ability. I was gonna save Jerry and then go or like use this on top, but now getting another Jerry now means so we can just throw Jerry out and just play two two perfections. They could get they could they could get an uh, obliterate. We've gotta go! We've gotta go! Do the super perfection with another super perfection! It's perfectly fine! As we do this guy into another one. We could actually go for a vengeance if we wanted to, but I feel that just getting two of these cats on the board right now is the more important thing to do. Without a shadow of a doubt, the kitty cat lives! And, uh, yeah, so they obviously grab... So I assume that you grab here because you want to keep Aurelian Soul. If That is even if they go forward. They might not go forward. That is also something that might happen is they might not go forward because they don't want the chance. <laughs> they don't want the chance of death. Throw in the second one. That, the second one still gives us the ability to slump. Like, so we can throw in the second one and still dredge at that. I mean, our options are our options are perfectly fine here. Okay, they want, they're getting draw. They're trying to find draw. Like, shit, shit, shit. Give me draw, give me draw, give me draw. Shit, shit. They take Jerry. They take the elusive. That's fine. Okay, so this is not ideal, but I still cover them elusively. I can still cover them elusively. I could actually straight up vengeance, but it doesn't matter. We don't need to straight up vengeance because the idea is that they're just trying to get themselves closer and closer to that level up. But it's okay because we're going to throw out <laughs> the armor perfection. Have two cats on the board and then dredge at the Jerry. So it, it's all coming up for science. Okay, so that... that so. They must, they've got to have another one, right? I'm assuming they've got another one, and that's why they're doing that, is because they want to use another concerted strike. We get the other cat on the box! Because <laughs> I can only assume that that's going to be their plan, is going to be to concerted strike that. We're going with that. Hi, I'm a digger! For science! But, yeah, no, we just go forward. We go forward. We can't chance anything. So we just immediately go forward here. 
because it gives us our best possible chance before obliterations. Oh, we've even got the ability to fade in memories, the cat. For those of you who do not know, if we fading memories, the cat. Do we just go forward with everyone for banter's sake right now? If we fading memories the cat, we get a, a zip, we get a one cost 30 30 ephemeral. We wait because I still, uh, we also, we go forward because I still feel like we're forcing them to have to do something. Like, I'd rather force it out now. Okay, so they've got hush. That's, that's quite enough. That's quite enough. That's okay. I mean, they've still got a second one. They've still got a second one for science. We win. We win. Yes. That's a top tier meta deck. Zoe, which is so and uh, Aurelian Soul. Okay, so we're against top tier meta decks again. Why are people playing top tier meta decks in, in normals? Why would you do this? Okay, we're gonna get rid of you, gonna get rid of you, and gonna get rid of you. I might end up regretting getting rid of Rummage because Rummage is a nice draw. But we've got Ezreal. I could, I guess we're taking four. Actually, no, correction, it wasn't even. I thought I was their attack turn for some reason, but you know, I'll take that. I will throw down the ballistic bot. I'll take the free damage. I'm willing to take the free damage here. Now, admittedly, the problem is that Ezreal. Oh, Teemo actually potentially becomes an option. I was going to say, because Ezreal, I can play him, do the, do the attack in, but I'm not going to get his Mystic shot. Potentially, Dredger could be a, a, a nice move as well. But I'm going to throw Teemo down. Vile Beast or Unspeakable Horror immediately hit Teemo here. I'm willing to go with the chances. He might survive. Okay. Go forward. Okay. We've at least put some shrooms in their deck. Could actually straight up go with the Fermo Beam, but I kind of want to leave Fermo in case I need it for fresh. So we'll do this. We're playing more cards. So we're getting ourselves closer to Submersible, which is getting us closer to perfection. Everyone's a garden, so... Right, Timo, Timo's in trouble. Rummage and Siri get... I feel like I, I might actually dredge her. So I'm going to throw down the dredger. Gives me Poro Cannon. So we can go massive... We, we can go elusive in on them. It's fine. We might see if, you, if they were going to hit anyone, potentially Ballistic Bot. Always and then they go goes. forward with everyone else. I will take I will take killing you. We're going down a lot, but I will accept. That's fine. So, we lose Teemo. Ballistic Bot takes some damage, but like you know, not a lot that I'm, I'm panicking too much. So, we throw down Ezreal. He goes forward, giving me a Mystic Shot to kill one of these two. You've got my cover in terms of this. Got that with you. Okay. The mushrooms, the, the insidious mushrooms slowly get them, even though we've only got five of them in their deck. So we want to throw down Ezreal going into, and then boom, get rid of the icon. I feel like we might be somewhat okay. We're not, we're not perfectly okay, but we might be somewhat okay. I could even fading memories their curse keeper just so that we can. So a good fading memories their curse keeper. Just so that we can get on the ball to four free. I wouldn't mind doing that. Okay, so they kill Ezreal. That's fine. I mean, it's not fine. And I should have expected this. But okay. I'll take this. Take the damage. And then we will throw you out. So at least, if nothing else, we are okay on that front. We can just go like this. We get four free out of it. I would accept that. I could have technically... Like a, it's fine. I was going to say, I could have technically done that, but we're, we're, we're continuously getting an, an ignition. As long as I do it on one of the ignitions, it's fine. Slowly but surely getting closer to the submersible. Obviously, we're now in the stage where Thrash slash Nasus could come out. Obviously, Thrash is the one who's the more, like, you know, problematic one. We have got a Fermo Beam, by the way. So, Fermo Beam does become, like, if they do throw down Bam, we just go, bang, and he's dead. Bang, and the Thrash is gone. Does anyone remember Silic Bang? Does anyone remember the Silic Bang adverts? Do not, do not fret. This is a very stupid deck, but this deck will get us to victory, I'm sure. That's okay. Technically, that still trades with anyone, regardless of that fact. I guess it's because they want to fight in front of this one, right? That, that's their whole, their whole plan. There is that they're thinking that they want to fight in front of there. As long as I actually keep Static Shock open, I can at least remove that. So I don't, I don't mind that situation. We're throwing that Aporo. But Static Shock means that we can kill this so that it doesn't kill... Actually, correction, I guess that it wouldn't matter because it wouldn't kill this. It would mean that we activate the the the, the fear machine, but that's okay. 
We could even throw down the submersible right now. Leave this as it is. I have got the ability of killing this. So I feel that we static you. Do some damage into you. Do some damage into you. And I guess... I guess we go like this. It does mean that I won't be getting that ballistic bot's ignitions anymore. But I could technically throw out another ballistic bot. And it still gives me the ability to use rummage and, and moves such as this. I would accept these trades. Admittedly, as I said, they're making NASA's bigger. I wish that we could see how big that NASA's was. I'm going to leave this because now what we're going to do, we're going to throw the cat forward. Because that, we are, we are, vengeance is good. Vengeance means we have the potential chance of killing NASA or Thrash. That's actually okay. We go in elusively on them. We've got the ability to glimpse. We've got all the elusivity right now. We enter. That's a big boy Nasus is what that is. That's a big boy Nasus is, is what that is. So we go forward elusively. I've got a vengeance. I don't... Obviously, right of negation is a thing. I just need to hope it's not a thing that we see. <laughs> okay, we'll see what happens. All I have is hope and a dream. All I have is the hope and a dream that we can get past this problem. They go with the bonk move. We just need to hope that one of those cards is not right of negation. That's not right of negation! NASA's down! Well, at least one NASA's down. Admittedly, they could still have another NASA's in hand. Was that, was that, was that bonk actually a NASA's? I didn't actually see whether or not that bonk that they did was a NASA's or just a standard. Right, so, okay, we need to think to ourselves. I throw in a ballistic bomb, but potentially another NASA's comes out. Because we've got, they've got, we've got eight health. They've got 10. That, okay, right, shit, shit, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Shit, shit, shit. My main concern is they throw out Nasus and they have atrocity. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That That's meaningless to me. Whoever, whoever fresh grabs, so I'm just going to use Glimpse Beyond on top of them. So it's okay with me. They go forward. I am willing to kill this one. So the fear is, is that I know, I know what that deck runs. That's the problem. It's more the fact of knowing, knowing what that deck runs and what that deck is capable of in terms of the fact that literally atrocity is a problem. Okay, we might have to just go really elusive in. We might have to just elusive them. Elusive them down because technically that is lethal for us. That is lethal. My god, we might actually be able to beat them. This is a top tier meta deck. We go. I mean, obviously, vengeance. Obviously, vengeance and problems, but we go. Okay, crap, crap, crap. I mean, that was not definitely dead. I mean, actually, no, we did We did also have a Poro. We did also have another Poro, but shut them out to my opponent. Oh, we didn't get to see the cat, but we saw a submersible cat, but GG Shenamo. We got there in the end, people. So we're up against really fearsome and then and then hitting me again kind of deck. I shall keep this. I might end up, because Vengeance could have been quite good, but I will keep this. Technically, she is she is vulnerable to Mystic Shot. Though, she, though we will not see her for a long time, she is vulnerable to the one Mystic Shot we have in our deck. Throw Little Man out. Little Spider Man. It's okay, Spider Man. They've got no defense for us. Raid coming in from Fake Hero. Buddy Mo, how are you doing? Shadow Mo, I hope all is well. You oh, join God, us in the Hyper Digger moment of Sam. All I see is blue, and it's not good for me at all. A troll fell earlier, welcome. Hyma, where is Karma? We don't need her. <laughs> we don't need her. I mean, you know the fact that I've said that we don't need her. We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose this match now that I've said this. But you know, we don't need Karma. Does anyone remember Vima Dinger when when Hyma and Vi were a thing? Okay. Perfectly fine. Fuses are lit. We're gonna we're gonna save mana. My opponent has got significant damage in on me. I could stack a mystic my way around a number of these a number of these problems. Obviously, I, I wait. I regret waiting. I shouldn't have waited. What I want to do here is remove remove from actually technically because you're you're gonna be a one which you're gonna be problematic anyway maybe we could remove a least i'm thinking to myself i want to remove this guy because he's just going to be increasing all of their damage potentially wait for them to go for the attack and then and then throw static out 
It's not the best plan. We're against a very aggressive deck. It's okay, everyone. Do not panic. Victory at any cost. Victory at any cost. I might end up... I might end up regretting the amount of damage that I'm willing to take here. But I will take it and say that it's for the greater good. Right. It's okay. It's perfectly fine. I'm thinking to myself here. I'm gonna throw this out. I mean, this is this is not as good as I need it to be. This is not what I need. What I'm thinking is I'm gonna go like this. See what I get? Vengeance! Vengeance might be the difference between life and death! That's actually really good. That's actually really good for me. Because we can now use Ballistic Bot to trade with Elise. And maybe this vengeance created by Flash of Brilliance going into this guy. Obviously, we don't know what they're going to play. They can still develop more. Give me problems. Okay. So who's going to get in my way? Well, this little spider's going to get in your way. Don't you worry about that. Things are looking bleak. But even in the bleakest of nights, there is a small glimmer of hope. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine, because that's technically still that man dead. I mean, admittedly, they're getting draw out of it. And we're losing our whole board, whereas they're still keeping a little tiny bit of board. I need to hope. As long as I can survive. Pass this turn, because I want, I want a little bit of mana. They're going, they're going big stuff on me. Big, big, big. So I have got the ability of just going draw and see what the hell we get i can flash i can use you i can throw this guy out so that i've at least got some form of defense defense is probably gonna be necessary let's face it as much as me wants to do this defense is gonna be necessary i've got no idea what you're gonna give me but i hope that you're gonna give me something which can save my life that'll do that actually also gives me draw i'll accept only we could play you as well okay it's okay I'm gonna throw you out just to be manner efficient. We've still got the ability for vengeance if needed. Slowly but surely, we're getting closer. I mean, not what I need to see. Not what I need to see. Potentially just vengeance on <laughs> directly to core. They're, they're not screwing around, are they? Okay, we can vengeance her so that they don't just continuously rally and keep coming at me. Okay, so we need to stop you. I feel that we need to stop you. I need to I need to stop any form of damage that I can. We are going down to six! It's not ideal. Do not fret, people! If anything, we shall prevail! Believe in the heart of the cards! So losing losing problems, but throw throw this out on top of you. More so just so that I can play some. I can play units. I can play units and get slightly closer to perfection. I figured to myself I'm going to need the progress day next turn. Okay. Throw that down. We could also throw down the submersible. I mean... Okay. Should have just left it. All I've done is allowed them to build a bigger board. There's an undying in there as well. Okay. Thermo beam really does not help me out here. I could throw down the cat. Cat does give me draw, but I feel that I need I need more draw than all that. Gotcha! As much of me. I feel like I need to play the urchin out of this potentially glimpse. Is the one card I get rid of. Oh, do we get rid of... I guess we're not going to be able to use this until, like... We've still got a while to wait on that. Of course it would be Jerry, who you would have been perfect to discard. <laughs> We've got such tiny help. Oh my god, everything! Okay. Everything we try is just immediately getting removed from the field of play. Okay, more Jerry's! <laughs> Top deck rubbish! To summarize, we've got multitudes of problems, not many solutions. All that is, all that is left. Let the begin. Oh, crap, the fact that I. Okay, we, we still got your next turn. Don't fret. We still got you that next time we're going down so badly. <laughs> we're going down in health so badly. We've still got we still got the Jerry's. Just don't develop more. Just leave it. Just just leave the development process. You don't need to develop anymore. Obviously, we might see further. Many other problems such as further. Gonna throw down you first. Okay, this is this would have been perfect if we could have played it. Okay, Jerry, Jerry! <laughs> Jerry bot, Jerry bot! 
There we go like this. We live on free. Not well, but we live on free. All I've got left is hope. All that is left right now is hope that they don't draw something worthwhile. Okay, so we could glimpse. Obviously, all it takes is all it takes is a decimate at this moment in time. We should have probably played this. In all honesty, because we, I don't know what, I don't, I don't think there's anything we could have found that would have saved my life, but we could have played it. Okay, production search definitely would not have saved my life. It's just all about surviving. Hopefully there's no shampoo in that deck. We might, we might win. We might win. People. People, we might be able to claw this back. I mean, obviously. I mean, Decimate and, and, um, what's his face? Decimate and Fervor are things. Okay. I feel, I mean, obviously, Vengeance. Vengeance is still possible. Need to remember the fact that Vengeance is still possible. But, I mean, is that... Oh, my God, we won! Shadowman to my opponent! Oh! Oh! I mean, I'm not gonna lie. That was stressful. The anus was, was going like this, but we did it for science! <laughs> We're against Nightfall, which is very bad. And also, renowned for the occasional hush, which is not the best for me. Do I want to keep this in hand? Because we've only got, like, one of these. And do we want to keep it in hand just to know? To know we've got counter when needed. <laughs> I might end up regretting keeping this because obviously it's far better when it costs less. I mean, actually, we've got a Furbo Beam now. I guess, like, I guess I didn't have to worry about it. But just to know that I had that for if needed against those two. Mostly not. Mostly what's his face. Right. Our uh, one copy of Teemo comes out. I shall sacrifice the little... Or do we sacrifice the little one's life? I mean, we can take free damage in the early game, right? Okay, no, we do sacrifice his life. I'm not willing to take that much damage in the early game. I will, I will, I will use my Fermo Beam to kill you because at least it's also not helping not to level up. I, I, I could keep you back. I'm going to keep it back because that's going to go... I, I wouldn't take free damage at the beginning of the turn. I was not willing to take seven damage at the beginning of the turn. We throw that Teemo! Go get him, Teemo. Go get him. You beautiful little... Little man. Obviously, hush. It's expected. Go on, do it. Oh, no, okay. It's just a straddle on speak. Well, fair enough, then. <laughs> fair enough, then. I mean, to be fair, it does make sense. It does make sense that that would be in there because, obviously, because the amount of Nightfall stuff that they've got, why not put another Nightfall thing in there? I've still got the ability to use gotcha if it's needed. We're gonna be okay, people. Don't worry. I don't know why everyone, but why everyone frets. There's no need to fret. Their sense travels. So we see, we see Nocturne drop on the field of play. I know. It. I wait. Oh, do we wait to do we wait to their attack? Because we would be helping. Nocturne helps level himself up. So did we kill him? <laughs> we just kill him now. Because obviously. All they're going to do is they're going to throw this guy in front of one of these two. And that's fine. Like, if they decide to do that, that's fine. You can still trade off with the other one. I can I can work with that. So, you still trade off with this one. And you... Yep, that's... I mean... Oh, crap, crap, crap. Of course you would. I'm willing to do a little bit of damage. We do have Static Shock in the deck. So, that's why I'm willing to... I mean, technically, I guess I could have Poro Cannon off of that, that thing that was in there right there. Actually, we can Poro Cannon off of you. We have... Hyma! Science is now going to be oh, you, our main thing. Okay. We have science. So we can use Poro, we can use Poro Cannon off of Jer I mean, all it's about right now is building a board. Obviously, once they make things fearsome, we're screwed. But until that point, we can go. So Poro Cannon off of Jerry Rig, get Jerry on the ball, get the zero cost bot on the board. Okay, so they, le they level her up. So most likely Hyma is going to die, right? We know that Hyma is most likely gonna die, but if he can at least give me some bots, if he can at least give me some defense and some bots before he dies, he will die valiantly. Because obviously if he can get us, if he can get us closer and closer, so I do apologize, Hyber, but science, science sometimes needs death. Science needs death for progress. Pro Speaking of progress, 
Did they just meet? Okay, so they've got they've got Nocturne. I was gonna say they just immediately throw that out without a theory. So they got Nocturne. Okay, it's not. I I wish I had some other form of things that I could do right now. Okay, we will at least at least get the perfection guy up. Now, admittedly, we need to remember is he's going up every single time we're playing somebody. Harmer's going up. Okay. So admittedly, all of our bots are a little tiny bots. All of our bots are little tiny bots, but for the greater good, it's okay. So I feel like I need to keep progress day open. Uh, we've got a lot of like, like fear. There's a lot of fearsome damage coming at me. A lot of fearsome damage coming at me that I can literally do nothing about. And also, that's pretty much the level up on top of pretty much the level up over here. We've got to sacrifice one of our ballistic bots. So we're going to sacrifice that. And we're going to sacrifice these little men. Go down to 11, but it's okay. Hi, I knew the risks for science. So, four bot coming out. Just to be manner efficient. We now throw up progress day. Progress Day! I mean, we could have we could have thermo beamed her down, but I feel that Progress Day was more important. So I'm actually gonna discard, gonna discard this Poro. Could have actually still yet again used thermo beam on her, then we could have used Stag. But bearing in mind they could have pale cascades and such things as that, that I feel that this is I'm I'm okay with this. We could also throw out the hapless aristocrat slowly but surely. We're getting there. We're getting there, people. It's not, it's not looking good. We we basically have to survive. <laughs> we have to survive next turn. Which could be like with Nocturne leveling and making like if Nocturne levels and makes everyone which it fearsome, it's not gonna be easy. But if they play Nocturne, we've got the ability to Fermo Beam Nocturne down. So that's the only positive. I mean obviously unless they play Nocturne right now. Is my opponent left? Is my opponent I mean I'm gonna pass just because. I could have gone forward, but I'm willing I'm willing to wait on them because I feel like we might see Nocturne drop. If we see Nocturne drop, I just want to do this. We're getting closer and closer to perfection. I could have gone forward. I had the loose. I mean, no! No, don't tell me my opponent is gone. This is not the way I want to win. I want to win through glory. I want to win through glory. This is not a victory. This is just a disconnect or... Or somebody's got something else to do, so they've left me. This is not victory. I wanted proper victory. It's a shame. So yes, that is the crazy Heimer deck. Um, actually, as you see, it got it got some wins, but I will say it got a lot of losses as well. Uh, I was actually going to include one of the losses, but then the video ended up being too long because, like, basically, what it was is like I I like to give you guys the interesting gameplay. If somebody's just playing a standard deck and it's not really fun, like there's there's nothing new and interesting that I don't really I don't really like. I can't be bothered to show you. I'd, I'd rather show you a win over a over a, a loss to something which is just standard. If I'm going to be honest, but that that is the thing that it got a lot of losses. So, but when it does win it wins to an unbelievably funny degree and that's what i think is like a, what this deck is all about so please let me know what you think down in the comment section down below if you use this deck or make any changes to it please let me know down in the description down below um as well as the fact that obviously you can catch me live on twitch on mondays tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays and we've got the discord link down below where there's a monthly games night movie night and all that jazz as well as, said, as, well as, as I said the tournament will most likely be in there so if you want to get involved please feel free to but just thank you all so much for watching commenting subscribing and i hope you had a great time i know that i did and until next time bye flash of brilliance that could save me save me that doesn't save me okay is there anything from you save me that doesn't save me okay Get rid of this and get rid of this. Find something that can save me.